join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday the 16th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather becoming cloudy today. A little rain around tonight and tomorrow morning. Other than that, things look pretty quiet here for a while, which is rather remarkable for late April in Alabama. Here's the upper air look, and again, we have a zonal flow. It's currently across the southern U.S. and a series of waves in that flow, and one producing some rain west of the state early this morning. That was the radar composite a little before 5 o'clock. The bulk of the rain over Louisiana and some of the adjacent states. Temperatures 40s and 50s to start today. Highs today 67 to 70 in most spots. Got a flash flood watch in effect for Mobile and Washington counties in southwest Alabama and parts of south Mississippi, the southern half of Louisiana. Around the country, winter storm warnings in effect for parts of New England, Wyoming, and Nebraska. This winter just won't give up in those regions. Here's the severe weather outlook for today and tonight. Got a marginal risk from Texas along the Gulf Coast into North Florida. That clips the southern part of Mobile and Baldwin counties and covers the Florida Gulf Coast for a batch of storms coming through today, a very low-end threat. This is tomorrow. Marginal risk over the southern tip of Texas and also parts of the Gulf Coast region, including extreme South Alabama, Mobile, Gulf Shores, over to Dothan, and day three Sunday. No severe weather expected across the country. This is the rain for the next seven days. Have your totals on the immediate Gulf Coast down into the Florida Peninsula. Rain amounts in Alabama could exceed two inches for Mobile, but much lighter for the northern half of the state. In fact, rain amounts will likely be under a quarter of an inch for places like Birmingham and Huntsville. So model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 4. Got an upper low sitting around Cape Cod. Trough coming out across the Great Plains states. And rain mainly west of the state during the day today. Clouds will increase. High should be in the upper 60s. This is 7 o'clock tonight. Rain beginning to push into the state. Just after midnight tonight, 1 a.m. The heavier rains will be across the far southern part of the state. North Alabama amounts pretty light, pretty spotty. 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, still some lingering light rain for the north. This is the high-res NAM valid tomorrow afternoon at 2, and it's showing a little bit of light rain around. But the HER, the high-resolution rapid refresh, showing really nothing. And again, we think the light rain around uh, will be in the morning hours, the afternoon, mostly dry. Could there be a sprinkle? Yes. In fact, this is uh, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, showing another batch of rain over the southern part of the state. But again, for the northern half of the state, the idea tomorrow, some light rain during the morning, the afternoon, cloudy and cool and mostly dry. For the uh, football games at Auburn and Tuscaloosa, uh, I'd say cloudy, cool. And again, I don't think there's going to be any rain, maybe a sprinkle or two, but uh, again, not much. The Magic City Classic looks dry and cool tomorrow night. So Sunday, sky becoming partially sunny. Sunday's high should be in the upper 60s. Monday, we're dry, high close to 70. Tuesday, partly sunny with low 70s. And then uh, that front you see north of the state, that comes in here most likely in dry fashion Tuesday night. And Wednesday, a cooler air mass drops in. Uh, in fact, Wednesday could be a pretty cool day. If you're up in the Tennessee Valley, you might. You might just stay in the 50s much of the day with uh, 60s for the rest of the state. Thursday and a Thursday morning, we're going to see some low 40s and we'll probably see some 30s for the colder pockets. Don't think we see a freeze, but it's conceivable the coldest valleys might get down toward the mid 30s with a touch of light frost. And during the day Thursday, the sky will be sunny, the high close to 70. A week from today, Friday the 23rd, a zonal flow and again, a dry air mass with rain just to the west. That probably comes in here Friday night or Saturday, April 24th. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 25th. Again, uh, zonal flow, and that disturbance is on by, and that looks dry. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble through the 1st of May. The mean between 1.5 and, and 2 inches. Temperatures, you can see the cool down tomorrow with highs in the middle 60s. The next cool down Wednesday of next week, and again, it's got 42 for Birmingham. This is the national blend of models early Thursday morning of next week, but some of the colder pockets might see some 30s. 
be aware of that. And then the CPC outlook. This is for April 23rd through the 29th, showing temperatures around here very close to seasonal averages. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.